people hold on to something solid because I just built a ship. Yes, after more than 20 videos on the channel and breaking the game in countless different ways, I finally built a completely normal ship. Yeah, well, completely normal, not quite. I couldn't help myself but to add a little bit of personal flavor. And uh, that flavor obviously is the cheese flavor. I love cheese. Now, if you take a look at this ship, you can easily tell that, well, uh, it can only really shoot to one side. Uh, the cannons uh, cannot rotate all the way around. But that's not a problem because the ship never was never meant to do that. And you'll see why in a minute. We're currently fighting at a tier. Our ship is uh, almost 10% more expensive than the tier, but it still dispatches of it with absolute ease. I removed all of the repair bots uh, for just for the combat testing and we managed to uh, kill the tier while losing less than 2% health. And with the repair bots, even with just uh, 15 repair bots, I'm able to out heal the damage that the tier can do. Why is that? Well, despite its relatively small size, it has insane armor, very, very good guns and a Sea Whiz and a Lamps combination that can uh, shoot out pretty much any incoming projectiles. So, if we put this thing into the instant cutaway machine. Ah, I still love this thing, it just never gets old. <laughs> Zip. There we go. You can see that it has a very, very unusual armor layout. Okay, slowly repairing now, but that, that's not uh, that, but that's not a problem. What you can see is that here in the middle, that's where the small uh, sea was turret sits. Over here we have the armor, which is some very, very thick armor. We have an outer layer of metal, then we have some uh, metal alloy, some spawn liner out of wood, then we have an air gap with some wedges, two more layers of alloy, another layer of wood and another uh, layer of wedges. So basically the same, uh, la uh, the same pattern repeated twice. We have some heavy armor up, up here to so basically uh, seal off and uh, EMP proof uh, each uh, segment. However, you can tell that on the other side, we don't have so much armor. We just have like three layers and that's it. Then we immediately have our steam engine here. And yeah, I think you already understood by now that uh, the, uh, we are only supposed to engage enemies from one side. So all of the firepower, all of the armor is concentrated on one side. And on the other side, we have utilities and stuff like that. Now, it's obvious that a design like this in real life would make no sense at all because you just lose way too much flexibility and any humans with more than two functioning brain cells would be able to take advantage of the weak side. But this is from the depths. We aren't fighting humans, we are fighting AIs. So uh, I can abuse their uh, non-knowledge of how this ship works uh, to my advantage. So you can see why it really is no problem that the guns can only face in one direction, right? Those main guns, by the way, each have a firepower of 30. They're pure rail guns, they draw a shit ton of energy, uh, but their uh, projectiles are extremely devastating. Like, like, each barrel has more firepower than one of the tier turrets. When it's uh, still intact, like right now, as you can see, uh, its turrets are in a slightly sorry state. To assist, we have a uh, multi-purpose VLS system here with uh, EMP frag missiles that can uh, take out ships as well as aircraft and some uh, large missiles right here in uh, two v triple VLSs uh, which are dedicated against ships and they are uh, like uh, kinetic uh, ships so they have uh, solid bodies to soak up lambs damage. And then uh, the Sea Whiz guns uh, will also fire every now and then when they feel like it at the main, main craft, though at a lower fire rate than normal, uh, so it can keep the burst potential for when there are missiles incoming, because they can burst for like 5 seconds at max, uh, max uh, rate of fire, but then drop back to uh, roughly uh, 2 thirds of uh, the maximum rate of fire uh, for sustained DPM. For defense, we have uh, those Sea Whiz systems, like I talked about. We have a uh, few of those uh, triple 30 millimeter assault cannons right here, uh, which are very good against cramp shells. 
our torpedo defense. Honestly, I I've, I kept upgrading them, but somehow uh, torpedoes still managed to hit us. Like this was definitely done by a torpedo, not a um, main shell. Managed to take out our lamp system. Uh, speaking of lamp system, the, this uh, the laser anti-missile system is roughly 50% more powerful than the one you find on the tier. Uh, even though we only cost 10% uh, more, we have uh, over twice the firepower. We have uh, better sea whiz, we have uh, better missiles, we have uh, we have better armor, everything. The only thing that uh, really that we lack are torpedoes. Offensive torpedoes. In order to keep the whole thing running we have two steam engines. One right here in the back and one uh, located pretty centrally under the main tower. Each of them uh, is individually capable of uh, keeping the ship running, however I have two of them for efficiency as well as redundancy. And the propulsion comes with these three massive azipods, with which can uh, push the ship to up to 40 meters per second. But all of that is just standard ship stuff. Let's just get back to the topic real quick and talk about the armor layout again, because I don't know how well a conventional ship would have turned out if I had built one with the skills I have right now. However, I think that this gives a definite advantage. You can look at it uh, from a few different ways, but uh, depending on how you see it, either you save on, on wood and material, if you had to copy this whole armor layout to the other side, which would make the craft a lot wider and thus slower, as well as cost a ton of material. If you were to put this uh, armor layer on the other side, you would sacrifice a ton of inter internal volume, or you could make uh, both sides thinner, which means that you would either sacrifice armor, or you would have to use heavy armor uh, to compensate, which is expensive and heavy. So if we just compare the armor thickness on the tier and uh, my craft for a second tier, I have a total of 8 blocks of armor, whereas the tier only has 5. Forcing the tier to use heavy armor even in the hull also doesn't have the internal volume to the spore liners. Despite all this, the symmetry has a, an armor cost of 23%, whereas the tier has an armor cost of almost 30%. So the tier pays almost 30% more for its armor and has less armor. <laughs> you see where this is going, right? <laughs> now I'm not saying this, the symmetry is perfect. It's the first ship I ever built in the side, size and it has still a ton of weaknesses. The azipods get destroyed relatively quickly by torpedoes and I haven't found any uh, option to deal with it other than just adding more and more uh, torpedo interceptors. The main guns aren't too accurate, uh, it doesn't really have any anti-aircraft capability because the Sea Wiz is uh, specialized for Sea Wiz and not really uh, as a multi-role anti-aircraft. And it struggles against submarines if they get too close because it cannot depress the guns low enough. But if you give it like an anti-air and an anti-submarine escort, I think it will be just fine. And even now, despite these weaknesses, it can take out pretty much any godly uh, faction craft except for maybe the Crucible and the Megalodon. I really did learn a ton while building this. Uh, I think the difference between a craft that just works and a craft that's really efficient, I wouldn't say it's an order of magnitude, but it's still a huge difference. Like the steam engines alone, when I was building it on my own, four of those engines weren't able to power the whole ship. And thanks to, with Thanks to some help from the community, just one engine now is po powerful enough to uh, power the entire ship and it, it's, well, it still has two for redundancy. And they're even more efficient than the one I originally built. Same thing works for armor where once again the community helped me out a lot to figure out this uh, pattern we have right here. And there we go, the Megalodon, the might of the Steel Striders is despawned. And our ship is currently sitting at 99% health. Ah, uh, well, okay, my, my, my character, uh, Rambot, has uh, repaired the ship already. Forgot to turn that guy off. Uh, but you, you could see that, uh, well, we uh, took a ton of damage uh, in this area, in the lamp system, from the torpedo. Like I said, I, I've kept upgrading the, the torpedo interceptors. I, I have so many of them, but they still don't manage to take out uh, everything. 
but our armor uh, managed to hold true. Uh, we, we never got a, a penetrating hit uh, taking out one of the turrets or the steam engine really. Uh, it was just our lamp system in the back and well there's two of them so we have redundancy. Like I said I've tested this without repair bolts and with a uh, Rambo turned off and uh, it, it never managed to do more than 3% health. Like it's actually very unusual to take a torpedo hit uh, right now. You can find the craft in the workshop if you want to uh, take a look at it and uh, have it fight your own craft. And if you manage to beat it, I would uh, like to know how you made it, made it. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.